So I don't know why my life is always so complicated. <laughs> I honestly don't. <laughs> I was going to make a simple video about putting out PGF Complete Granular and using the Super Juice. How you go about doing that, some tips. It's going to be a short video. Spray it on my lawn and I'll be done. Well then I came out and I noticed that the world's worst lawn and barbs both had a kind of infestation of leaf hoppers. What are leaf hoppers? Leaf hoppers are these tiny little white bugs that look like a hybrid between a fly and maybe a grasshopper. <laughs> They're really weird. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how I get rid of those things. Hey guys, so uh, one of the benefits, the answer to the question is, is yes, if you put down PGF Complete, you still use Super Juice. You put down Super Juice about every two weeks, 7-1-2 ratio, spray it out. But the nice thing about Super Juice is that you can kill two or three birds with one stone. And what I mean by that is, you go through and do your lawn inventory. If you got fungus, add a fungicide to it. If you have bugs, add a bugicide to it. <laughs> it's my new word, bugicide. Uh, so today, last night I came out here and I was going to spray my front yard, because I, which I cut for like the sixth time in two, two days, because I'm trying to bring it down. And then I noticed that the world's worst and barbs both had kind of an infestation of leaf hoppers again. I saw them last year. So let me go over and show you what they are. Okay, so let me explain what these little things are like. As you're walking along, you're going to see little white things fly out as you walk along. Oh, there goes one. A miniature little grasshopper. Oh, there's one. See him on that alley? Right there. <laughs> That's them right These things are impossible to catch. <laughs> It's like, like I said, it's like a hybrid between a grasshopper and a little fly. Now, leaf suckers, uh, they basically go and they suck the juice out of foliage, plants, leaves, trees. And they're usually not a problem until you get an infestation of them. In this yard, and I don't know, because this is actually common Bermuda grass, I don't know if it was because it's more so common Bermuda grass, but I also saw them in barbs too. So time to treat it oh man I'm sweating my butt off I'm gonna do this in the garage I'm sorry I hope you can see me <laughs> uh, let me go over if I'm focused strictly on bugs let me go over how I mix up my super juice plus especially how you spray super juice in the summertime let me cover those two things now I will tell you that if you have any fungus issues, you have any fungus issues I keep a pretty good supply of propiconazole. I keep this uh, around to add to my super juice whenever I have a fungus issue. And don't forget, I'm taking care of three and a half, four yards sometimes, so I need to keep quite a bit. Matter of fact, <laughs> I know that prime days are coming up, so two days ago I ordered my supply my next month's supply of PGF complete. This just showed up at my this just showed up at my door today. <laughs> at my garage. So this is uh, the PGF complete. Comes in real nice storable 18 pound bags. And they ship it generally two to a box, which makes it real nice to carry around. So Anyways, yes, I ordered mine. Like I said, I know Prime Days are coming up. There's a good chance PGF Complete's gonna sell out. There will be more in stock, by the way. Uh, but there is a good chance it'll sell out. And I already talked to Anderson's. They already have more production on the way. Anyways, so I take Super Juice, and I'm gonna use one cup of dry Super Juice for every 3,000 square feet. So this is a cup, just like when you're baking or whatever. This is a cup of flour. One cup of super juice for every 3,000 square feet. Do the math. If I have 15,000 square feet of lawn divided by 3,000, that's five cups. So I put use five cups of the dry mix. Now how much water do I use? doesn't matter. Uh, you can use one gallon or you can use four gallons as long as whatever you mix up you put all that on that 15,000 square feet. It doesn't matter. 
Um, when I'm putting out something like pre-emergent, I like a lot of water because you want to water pre-emergent into the ground. So if I'm putting out pre-emergent and super juice, which I will do sometimes uh, in the spring, uh, I'll, I'll put a lot of water and really slowly walk and push it into the ground. Just another tip. So this is the super juice. Of course, it's a dry mix. Cut it open, scoop out. Now I will give you a little tip on your super juice. I made a mistake yesterday and I didn't seal up my bag. I usually tape it. I don't just rely on the seal. I tape it up real tight. <laughs> this is so humid out here. Uh, the seat kelp inside of there turns a little dark and sticky. It's fine. It's not a problem. Just so you know, a lot of people have said, Doc, it's like kind of sticky and chunky. That's normal. It's the sea kelp. When it gets exposed to that moisture, it turns kind of dark and sticky. It's fine. Put it in water and it mixes right up. So I'm going to take super juice. So I'll take, let's say I'll take two gallons of hot water, hot tap water, put it in here, put in my super juice. Then what I'll do is I'll take permethrin. Now I love permethrin. It's sort of my go-to uh, insecticide or bugicide as I like to say. Why is that? Because permethrin really for dogs is actually pretty safe when you apply it. Do not put this on your dog but I will tell you that there are um, that they do use permethrin to treat for uh, bad flea infestations and for tick infestations. They use it on livestock. The only thing you have to be concerned about is if you have cats. If you have cats, this is this can be lethal to cats. I had two bottles of Spectricide up on my shelf from last year that I really wasn't using. So actually I started off with Spectricide and then I figured out I had to do go do the other lawns and so I added the permethrin in. So I was just going to use this up. Now you can get this at Lowe's, Walmart, anything. I'll put a link to it uh, in the webpage below. But I'll put a link to the Super Juice, the Propiconazole, the permethrin, maybe even the, the Spectricide. I'll put links. If you go to the, click on the description down below, I try and list everything because everyone's going to ask where you get it. Uh, I mix that up and then I spray it up. Now the only thing when you're spraying this kind of stuff is um, I try and be a little bit careful. I actually spray it in my landscaping and my gardens as well too. But uh, you just want to be careful about wind drift. So if the wind's going this way you'll notice I try and I try and face I want the wind to my back when I spray. A lot of people say why do you walk backwards when you spray? Well a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have the wind to my back and I'll actually be kind of spraying and misting and let that carry on to the lawn. I generally do two passes with this. I do a downward spray where I go in and then I go back again and I do a real light spray. So I have that direct spray and then I have a light misting spray. But you do want to be careful about uh, the overspray, especially if you're doing some kind of negative treatment like a weed killer or whatever. So again, one of the nice things about Super Juice is, don't forget, in the summertime, drop it down to a 7-1-2 ratio. It has the sea kelp. It has humic. It's a wonderful treatment. I personally like to spray it late evening. It's not late evening, but late afternoon or early evening is my favorite time to spray it. Uh, I, I don't, you don't have to water it in. A lot of people ask that. You just leave it till the next rain. You can water it in if you want. Uh, as, long as, the, as long as the super juice is on there for about 6 to 10 hours, the foliar absorption is going to take place. So if you get a rainstorm come in, uh, like we did last night, it's not a problem. What else? That's it. So I'll just piece together some of me just spraying this stuff around.
So let me explain exactly how I do this. So typically what I'll do is I'll go spray my super juice and make sure that I get good coverage. So what I'm doing is I'm actually spraying sort of down and getting good coverage the majority of the time on my first pass. And then on my second pass, what I'll generally do, my second coat, is I'll actually spray up. Now I'll watch my wind direction. Um, and what I'll do is I'll start upwind and I'll spray up and let that fine mist settle down on, onto the ground. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I always like to do a double coat. So I make up enough liquid, not increasing my strength, but make up enough liquid to where I can go and do that double coat. So again, I spray, usually spray downward first and then I'll go back and do that light coat. Man, everything gets covered. While I'm spraying here, by the way, I'm seeing tons of these leaf hoppers and a couple moths pop out too. Let me give you a little tip. If you're trying to search and see if you have army worms or army worm moths about eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, or later in the afternoon when you start to get a little bit of shade on your lawn, get a garden hose and just walk around and spray your grass. And what you'll typically see is you'll see moths come out of the lawn. That's something that I do quite often. So look for a little sunny area in the early in the morning, get the hose. And if you have them, uh, last year I would have 20, 30 moths come out of just a little area. And you probably need to go ahead and look at our army worm program uh, for killing off the army worms. Again, for us here in Georgia, that doesn't start till usually August is when we have to kind of worry about that. It just depends. You just got to constantly watch for the moths. And if you see a blot of moss, that means you're probably going to, they're laying eggs is what they're doing. And then they're going to, um, eventually you're going to have an army worm problem. Uh, the next thing is, is like if you have these little hoppers, now bugs are not a problem in the lawn. And that's an important point to make. The only time you really have to treat for bugs is when there's a health concern or a, or a lawn concern. So like for me, I have dogs and I have a ton of woods, huge amount of woods behind my house. So I go back there and treat for for ticks that's my big major concern but you if you have something that's going to cause damage in your lawn like an infestation of these leaf hoppers leaf hoppers typically won't do a lot of damage but if you have an infestation of them like they had over there it's time to take action so early in the morning i just walk around and i just sort of i just sort of kick my foot when i'm walking and you'll see them they'll hop out so let's go over and check and see how we did over here there's gonna, still going to be some Okay, but normally I'd see them immediately pop out when I did this. Just don't even have to disturb the grass. You just kind of go over the top of it. But this was the, this area was just infested right here. And now I've got nothing. I've got no signs. Not one single one popping up now. So the good news is, they seem to all be gone. <laughs> Again, I usually only have to do that. For, uh, these little things, they'll come back in maybe a month or two. But uh, again, it's it's only if you have an infestation. Now, if you're talking about army worms, uh, that's a different story altogether. You're going to put down, we have links for that over at the website. We have an army worm link where you put down the duo side granular. As soon as you see the army worms, as soon as you detect them, you put down the duo side granular then you put down the permethrin uh, or even a spectrocyte on top of that and that double formula is just absolutely amazing remember army worms during the heat of the day live in the thatch layer they don't really come out and so that's where the duo side comes into play it also kills grubs but it really it treats that thatch layer the liquids that you spray out only um, apply a pesticide to the leaf surface so the nice thing is is you know, you go out and spray a pesticide, a liquid, and then it rains the next day. Well, is my pesticide still out there? The nice thing about the duo side is you have that double kill program. So you have the foliar treatment of the permethrin, and then you have that thatch layer treatment of the duo side. So that's a good tip. Anyways, guys, just remember, you can mix all you want with Super Juice. Hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, click like. If you hate it, click hate. I think there's a hate button. Anyways, talk to you later. Doc.